Yeah. All right, is everybody ready? Yeah. Okay, so I do this thing for Mr. Adkins. I give him a countdown, and so he knows when to begin. Okay, so we're going to do that now. Five, four, three. Hi, and welcome to Kids Say. We're here today with three Baton primary students. I'm going to have each of them introduce themselves, and we'll start right here. Go ahead and tell everybody your first name, your last name, and what grade you're in. Brianna Pollard, and I am in second grade. Okay, now all of you are in second grade, right? Okay, who's your teacher? Your teacher Ms. is Miss Gillum. Gillum. Okay, well, welcome. And you are? Get a camera. I'm Anna McLeese, and I'm in second grade, and my class is Mrs. Cry. Mrs. Cry, this class, very good. And over here? My, my name is Brandon Boyle. I am in second grade, and my class is Mrs. Lubke's. Mrs. Lubke's class. All right, so all of our second graders did a really cool project here recently where you were wax museum characters. And I had the opportunity to come over and see you, and I think I saw most of you anyway. I didn't get to see you because you were absent that day, right? We're going to talk a little bit about maybe who you picked and why you picked them. And we'll start over here. Why don't you go ahead and tell everybody, who, who did you pick for your wax museum? Michael Jackson. And why did you pick Michael Jackson? Because me and my mother, is, me and my mom love him. Love Michael Jackson. He was a really talented singer and dancer, wasn't he? Is your mom able to dance like Michael Jackson? Yes. She is? Is she pretty good? How about you? Can you dance like Michael Jackson? No. Uh, he, was, he was a pretty good singer. So did you dress up for your presentation? Did you wear a hat and a glove? All those cool things for Michael Jackson? Yeah. Was it fun to do the project? Yeah. Can you tell us something that you learned about Michael Jackson? That might be an interesting fact for us? How about you think about it and I'll come back to you, okay? Maybe think about what your interesting fact was. Now, who did you do? Mary Anderson. Mary Anderson. So tell all our folks out there who Mary Anderson was. She, she invented the first windshield wiper. Wow, that's, that's really cool. And where was she from? Do you remember? Birmingham, Alabama. Okay, and, and did you pick her or was she assigned to you? I picked her. Right. Our whole class was allowed. Okay, and what, what fascinated you about her that made you decide to pick her? That, I don't know. She was someone new I never heard of, and she was a girl. Oh, very cool. A woman in leadership, which is kind of a, a woman inventor, yeah. right? Which is neat, too. Yeah, she died in 1986. Died in 1986. 19 something. Okay. 19 something. All right, that's, that's good. And who are you? Jackie Robinson. And why did you pick Jackie Robinson? Because he's a famous baseball star. Mm -hmm. And what was something that maybe everybody should know about, about him? Uh, what, what made him so famous? One of the first African-American Major League Baseball players? No, he was the first African-American introduced to the Baseball Hall of Fame. In the Baseball Hall of Fame. Very good. Very cool. And you didn't get to come. Did you? you were absent the day they did the presentation, right? I was oh, sick. You were sick. Bummer, huh? Okay. Do you guys all like school? Yeah. yeah. What is, what's your favorite part about school? What's your favorite thing to do in school? Um, what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is everything. Every single thing. So I have none. Not none things. So you just, you, you like school? Yes, I like everything in school. So you like school so much that you'd like to go through the summertime? You do? Oh my goodness. Do you? You like school so much you'd like to go in the summertime? Wow. I that's my mom. That's really cool. What's your what's your favorite subject in school? Gym. Gym class? That was always my favorite <laughs> one too. Yeah. How about you? What's your favorite class in school? Math and gym. Math, wow. That's really cool. You you like to do math? You that was call me down. That was not that was not my favorite subject. I was not always very good at math. But I, I did like gym. I like math because I'm the best person in math. So you're you're smart in math. Well that's really cool. Um hey, you guys one of the things I like to talk about is I don't know about you, but I have three dogs at my house. Beezus, Millie, and Rocket. And I think three dogs is an awful lot to have in a house. How how do you guys? Do you, do you have pets at home with you? Mm -hmm. And what do you have? I have two guinea pigs, a hamster, and a dog that's only five months old. Five months? So you have a puppy. Mm -hmm. Does your puppy like to play a lot? Mm, yeah. 
have you have you ever what's your puppy's name? Rocco. Rocco. Nice. Have you have you ever had your hamsters or your guinea pig get out of their cage? Mm-hmm. So what? How, how'd you get it back? Um. So me and my sisters woke up one day, and one of my sisters found my hamster and our hamster under our couch. How did you catch it? Uh, I don't know. Just reach down and grab it. Wow. Wow. How about you? You said you have you have quite a few pets at home. Three dogs. Uh, evil cat. <laughs> an evil cat. Well, probably a cat living with three dogs has no choice but to be evil, I would imagine. What are your dogs' names? Micaiah, Bandit, and Bella. Are they big dogs or are they little dogs? Big. Do you know what kind they are? Mm, Bella is a beagle, uh, beagle, lab, border collie, and the other two are um, pits. Pitbulls. Okay, so you have, are they all in the house? How, how does your cat like the dogs? Uh, they don't, he don't like the dogs. Does he just stay away from them? Yeah. Yeah, do they bark a lot? Yes. Because our dog, every time somebody comes to the door or somebody walks by the house with another dog, they go crazy. Do yours do that? No. Yeah, <laughs> mine, 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 mine does. Now, you told me something interesting about when we face up here so people can see your pretty face. Tell us about, you, you used to have used to have a kitty cat, right? Yep. And you have her leash on your hand. It's her collar. Her collar. I'm sorry, not her leash, but she, you have her collar on her hand. And she now stays with somebody else? Yeah, just for now until, until we find a place that we're allowed to have Gotcha, until you can have a place and to have And she's in Big Meadows. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Well, I, I like having pets. They're a lot of fun, but I just her think name, that... Her name yes? is Serenity. Serenity? Mm -hmm. mm, it's a pretty name. Nice. What were you going to say? I used to have a cat that was named Luna, but it died when we were at the store. And then we came home, and um, my dad buried it in our backyard. Well, <laughs> but we well I, I have pets buried in my backyard, too. Yes, one more, and we'll uh, talk about something else. I had one pet, but then we gave it to, but then we gave it to my grandma, and it passed away a couple of days ago. Oh, that's too bad. Sorry to hear that. One of the hard parts about having pets is when they pass away, isn't it? Yeah. If you get attached to them, that kind of stinks. Uh, but sometimes when that happens, you get a new one. That's how it seems to work in my house. Oh, that's, that's too bad. Okay. Um, you guys had, you guys have summer coming up here a little bit in pretty soon. What's your favorite thing to do outside in the summertime? What do you like to do? Play flag football. Are you on the flag football squad? You guys are playing right now, are you? Yeah, okay, so you play downtown mm -hmm. in the middle of the block. Are you pretty you fast? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm the best player on my team and um and we won Saturday. Oh great, we, we won we Saturday. Don't, we beat them by only one touchdown. Nice, nice. What do you what do you like to do in the summertime? Go to the beach. Go to the beach. You like to go swimming? Does it bother you to swim with fish? No. That's good that's good. What about sharks? No sharks at our beach, is there? Do you like to go to our beach, or do you like to go on a vacation on the beach? Vacation. Vacation. Okay. How about you? What do you like doing? Something? I like to play in the sprinkle with Alan Parker, and I like to go swim at a different beach, like Sandusky Beach or something like that. I like the Oak Harbor Beach. Yeah, okay. that's it's the Oak Harbor You like that beach, one, too? I think. All right. Those are all good. Well, um, and, and, and also, I like, I like to go to my grandpa's. Okay. I like to go to my grandpa's and swim there because he has a big pool. Well, that's fun. And deep end in a shallow end. Deep end in a shallow end. Just All right. my mom swam with. Your mom swam with what? Sharks. Wow. And my grandma swam with dolphins. Dolphins. That would be, that would be kind of cool to do. One well, one last thing. Go ahead. One time I went to Florida. On a plane, and um, for a flag football tournament, and we won sixth place. Wow, that's but very cool. This one Miami Ravens team cheated. <laughs> okay, well, we'll we'll we'll, have, we'll call the officials on them. But, All right. But we um we got to play them again in the actual tournament. And did you beat them? 
Almost. Almost. All right. Well, I thank you three for joining us today to talk about some things that are going on at school, and I really enjoyed coming to your wax museum. That was great. We've got a day off on Friday because Friday will be Easter for everybody, and you guys will be off on Friday, and I hope you get to do something fun. And also, I'm going Oh, you get to go to Subway for lunch with your teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, boy. She's, she's bringing Subway. She's bringing Subway. Our teachers are really cool. All right, so on three, we're going to wave goodbye to everybody. You ready? One, two, three. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you for joining us.